Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before I start the presentation, I want to introduce myself. My name is Lastri Wiyani. I'm from University of Muslim Indonesia or UMI. Okay, and now I want to explain the result of our research about the effect of virgin coconut oil with orange juice ratio on stability and viscosity properties of the emulsion. Okay, before I explain the essence of the research, we must know what is the PCO. PCO or virgin coconut oil is produced from fresh and mature coconut by mechanical or natural techniques without heating, so the nature of the oil is unchanged. And what is benefit of PCO? Benefit of VCO is the first VCO naturally contains a mixture of medium chain fatty acid or MCVA and long chain fatty acid or LCVA in a ratio of 3 to 1. And the next benefit, the highest MCVA content is lauric acid 45 to 55%. And the next benefit, PCO can help reduce total blood cholesterol, triglycerides, and phospholipids in serum and tissue. And the last benefit has a higher phenolic content and antioxidant activity. And next, we know many people don't like to consume PCO. Why people don't like to consume PCO? Because PCO have the oily taste in the direct consumption. What the problem of the VCO? The problem is looking for an alternative product that can reduce the oil test when consumed. How to solve it? The solution to solve it is the development of a VCO based emulsion, emulsion product as nutritional food supplement will indirectly increase the consumption of VCO. And the next, I want to explain about the previous research. From Vianney et al. in 2016, we have been studying the ratio of VCO and water using a mixed emulsifier of twin 80 and span 80. And from Vianney et al. in 2018, we have been studying the addition of sucrose to VCO emulsion. And the last, from Vianney et al. in 2020, we have been studied first the addition of honey and citric acid effect of antioxidant in PCO emulsion. In the next slide, I want to explain about the purpose of the research. Purpose of the research is to examine the effect of the ratio between PCO and orange juice on the stability and viscosity of the emulsions using three types of emulsifiers. Three types of emulsifiers is Arabic gum, Chantam gum, and Soul lecithin. It is expected that the data from this research can provide useful information for the use of PCO and the development of PCO based industries. In the next, I want to explain about the methodology of the research. Methodology of the research use five materials and one equipment. The material have the first PCO, orange juice, shantam gum, arabic gum, and solicitin. And the equipment using the ultra thorax. And the next slide, I want to explain about the preparation of the research. Preparation of the research first make a mixed physical with orange emulsion in the ratio 90 to 1, 80 to 2, and so on until 1 to 9. Then a chantan gum emulsifier mixture with ultra thorax 15,000 rpm for 4 minutes. An emulsion analysis for its physical and chemical properties. 
and the procedure was repeated by replacing shantam gum with other emulsifier or arabic gum and so legitim. Next, from experiment about the research, now I want to explain about the results and discussion of the research. You can see the figure 1 on the slide. The stability of the VCO with orange juice emulsion using three types of emulsifier is present in figure 1. The use of soil lecithin in the emulsion results in unstable emulsion from the VCO with orange juice ratio 9 to 1 to 1 to 9. The emulsion stability using the emulsifier was only 16%. In emulsion using gum arabic, the emulsion was stable with a ratio of 9 to 1. The more orange juice is added, the emulsion stability decreased. At a ratio of 1 to 9, the emulsion stability is 40%. In other words, the emulsion is unstable. This is different from the case with emulsion using shantam gum. In which the emulsion stability was in the ratio of 4 to 6, 3 to 7, 2 to 8, and 1 to 9. The high stability was obtained at ratio of PCO with orange juice 1 to 9. The emulsion destabilization process begins with droplet movement. In large emulsions, droplet movement is dominated by gravity. The main factor affecting the stream. Creaming of the sample is the difference in density between the dispersing medium and, di and dispersed medium. The greater the difference in density between the dispersing medium and the dispersed medium, the faster the separation due to gravity. The presence of an emulsifier can prevent or reduce separation. Emulsifier has a property that can blend oil or hydrophobic and a property that can be weather or hydrophobic. And the next, you can see figure 2 on the slide. The effect of using the type of emulsifier on the physical city of the VCO with orange juice emulsion is present in figure 2. The physical city of the emulsion stabilized by shantam gum was higher than the viscosity of the emulsion stabilized by arabic gum and soul digitum. In an emulsion using shantam gum at a VCO with orange juice ratio of 9 to 1, the viscosity was 230 cp. Then the viscosity increased. A very sharp increase occurred in the ratio 6 to 4 with a viscosity of up to 5420 CP, which results in a very viscous product. Furthermore, the viscosity of the emulsion was further decreasing. When it comes to emulsion stability at a ratio of 6 to 4, this emulsion is unstable if it even took the viscosity is very high. At a VCO with orange juice ratio of 1 to 9, the viscosity was 1066 CP, which resulted in the most stable product. In the emulsion with soil lecithin, in the hex, viscosity was 130 CP at the VCO orange juice ratio of 8 to 2, then the viscosity decreased as the orange juice increased. In the emulsion with gum arabic, the hex viscosity was 230 CP at the VCO with orange juice ratio of 9 to 1. This was the most stable emulsion. As the addition of orange juice increased, the viscosity of the emulsion decreased. At a ratio of 1 to 9, the emulsion viscosity is 40 CP. This difference is thought to be due to difference in the molecular structure of the three emulsifier. In the chemical structure of shantam gum, it has many hydroxyl groups that are able to bind water. Besides, it has many branches that make the trapped water is able to stabilize the resulting emulsion compared to arabic gum and so lecithin. And the next, you can see table one 
on the slide. Table 1 explain about the pyrocyte number of VCO with orange juice emulsion. In Table 1, the pyrocyte number of the emulsion with three types of emulsifier are listed. The pyrocyte number produced from the three types of emulsion has a lower value than the standard value issued by the Asian and Pacific Coconut Community or APCC. Namely, the maximum pyrocyte number in VCO is 3 mg per kilogram of sample. The low pyrocyte number is due to the fact that VCO contains around 90% saturated fatty acids which are more resistant to residuity to, to oxidant, o oxidation than unsaturated fatty acid. This low pyrocyte number is indicates that the emulsion produced is not rancid so that it can be further developed to produce an emulsion product that is more delicious to be consumed. For example, with the addition of sugar, acid, or flavor that can enhance the taste. Okay, next, from the result and discussion of the research, we can conclude emulsion that has high stability is an emulsion that uses Shantan gum emulsifier. It produces a stable emulsion at a VCO with orange juice ratio of 1 to 9 with a physical city of 1066 CP. Emulsion using Arabic gum produces the highest stability at 9 to 1 VCO with orange juice ratio with a physical city of 230 CP. Meanwhile, emulsion using solicitin is unsuitable. Okay, that was the explanation of our research results. So, and the last, our biggest gratitude goes to DRPM of the Directorate General of Higher Education, Ministry of Research and Technology or National Research and Innovation Agency of the Republic of Indonesia for the funds provided through the Higher Education Leading Applied Research Grant for the 2019 to 2020 fiscal year. Thank you for attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.